in Glen Cove area. Can't you just see yourself outside enjoying a glass of sangria? Well, come on inside. We're gonna make some sangria. Today we're on location in Terrace Kitchen at 523 Terrace. Come on in and let's take a look at the living room and dining room on the way to the kitchen. Beautiful big open kitchen that opens to the family area. And let's get started. Today, we're gonna make just a traditional classic sangria. We're gonna start with a one bottle of Pinot Noir. You can use a Grenache, but a low tannin red wine is preferable. So we're just gonna start by pouring in the wine. Whole bottle, 750 milliliters. It already smells good in here. And there's just several flavors and we're just going to layer them. The next thing that we're gonna add is a half a cup of triple sec. This has already been measured out, so I'm just gonna pour the whole thing in because I've already measured it out. This is the same type of triple sec that you would use in a margarita. So half a cup. And the next ingredient is going to be a half a cup of a simple syrup. A simple syrup is equal parts sugar and water. The water's boiled, the sugar's dissolved, and it's cooled. I've already measured this out as well, so in you go. The next ingredient I'm gonna use today is a pomegranate soda. You can use a half a cup of juice and any kind of sparkling soda like Sprite or ginger ale or even tonic water, or you can use one that's already put together. So today we're gonna to be using one that's already put together and we're gonna use a cup and a half. Since I've already got it mixed together, I don't have to use a half a cup of the juice and a cup of the sparkling. So I'm using a cup and a half together. That's 12 ounces. And mm, that smells yummy too. I'm just gonna pour that in and just stir to incorporate the ingredients. Last ingredient is going to be your fruit. You're gonna use, the easiest thing to do is to use frozen fruit. I've got grapes, oranges, limes, lemons, and Honeycrisp apples, whatever you have. If you wanna throw in berries, that's fine too. So I'm just gonna put this in, I'm gonna use my hands here. I can not splash it all over the place. But frozen fruit, and that way you don't even really need to add ice because your fruit is gonna keep your sangria chilled. And when you're ready to pour it, put a little, pour a little fruit in too, and it makes for a very nice drink. Refreshing. And this is a great house to come have a sangria by the pool, don't you think? Stir it up. We are good to go. Just keep it chilled until you're ready to serve it. And that's all there is to it. So thanks for coming to Kieran's Kitchen. I hope you had a fun time. Thanks, enjoy, bye.